if you tinker with things enough, you eventually get to a point where you need to start measuring internal radiuses like these. Now I need to measure and fit a board inside this area here. And to do that, I need to measure this radius and this radius. And the question is, how do I actually go about doing that? There are a number of ways, but the easiest way I think is to use some radius gauges, but I don't have any radius gauges. So first I need to make them. Now I could just draw some circles in my favorite drawing program, print them out and then use those. But I thought I'd 3D print some radius gauges instead. These last longer than the paper, so I'll be able to reuse them. These won't take that long to print. Now I've designed them so they can stack on top of each other and then they can all stack onto a M6 bolt or a piece of six millimeter dowel. And that way I can store them all nice and neatly. So here are my radius gauges and I've fitted them onto an M6 bolt. They're slightly tighter than I would have liked. I made the hole 6.2 and I think it needed to be 6.3 or 6.4. Didn't want to reprint them, but I'll just show you what they look like. I'll just take this bolt out. I'll show you the largest ones, probably the easiest to see. So they're just plastic circles. The radius is the outer radius of the circle, obviously. The circle has got a little lip on it, is 0.2 of a millimetre larger than the next circle down. And all of these circles go up in two millimetre diameter increments, so one millimetre radius. And therefore they all nest inside each other like so. So what I can do now is just take the one that I think's closest, try a couple either side, and then from that I can judge what the radius is. And if it's between two, then I know it's within half a millimetre of the two radius sizes. So as an example, this one here at this radius, I can look at that and make a judgment as to if I think that's okay or not. I can then use a larger one. That looks a little bit, a little bit too large, I think. There's a bit of a gap in the corner indicating that it's a bit too large. That one seems to fit better. I'll try the next one down just to be sure. The next one down looks perfect, actually. It looks even better. I'll just test it again. Yeah, next one down is, that's a much better fit. So just try one down from that. Just check I've got the right one, I have. That looks a little bit too small, there's a gap on the edges here and here. So I think this one is that internal radius. So I'm going to put this to one side. I can measure across there to find out what the diameter actually is. Or I can just draw using this as a template, which is probably what I'll do. So that one's good for that. I've now got the other corner down there and I'll move the camera and we'll do that one as well. Okay, so this is a different radius in this corner, which could easily catch you out. That is far too small. You can see there's a gap each edge so I need to go bigger it looks a little bit too small as well let's go a little bit bigger that looks perfect I'll just go one bigger just to make sure I compare that one with that one I think this one is slightly too big. I think there's a slight gap in the co in the corner of the radius, if that makes sense. Right in the corner of the box compared to that. So I think that's the correct one. So I'll put both of those aside and I can use these two now 
as my radius template so when I'm drawing where I need to cut. So to draw this I literally just need to offer it up to the piece, make sure that it's on the edges. As a third check I've got a little line going at 45 degrees from the corner. I can check that that's in the middle, which it is, and now I can just draw my line. I'll do the same on this one, and then the same on these. These will be a smaller line, smaller radius. And if you get your internal radiuses right, then you can end up with a fit like this, which I'm very pleased with. So these are pretty simple radius gauges, but they are very effective, as you can see. I think if I was building them again, then I'd make them slightly thicker, so they're a little bit more robust than they are. And I think if I made each one out of a different color, or at least alternating colors, they'd perhaps be a little bit easier to see and handle because it'd be easier to see what the next one down is. Sometimes that's not that obvious when they're not piled up like this, but just in a disarray on your bench. If you've enjoyed this video, then please leave a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. And if you know someone who might like this video, then please share it with them. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.